Okay, hello everyone, and this is my 8x8 solve. As you can see right here, I'm just scrambling the cube, and I'll start the solve here in a second. Now, uh, right now I'm about to start the solve, and then I'll start talking more. So, there, I just started the solve, and I gotta say, I went really slow this time. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, this is only my second solve ever, so I'm still trying to get used to the whole 8x8 thing. I mean, I'm, well, just as a little explanation, I'm recording this the same way I did before with my camera as on the, uh, me, myself, and Pi Day with Him video, which I'm going to change the name to A Day with MMNP, or Me, Myself, and Pi, something like that. Um, yeah, so this 8x8 solve, you... You can see the time in the title. I have it right here, but, you know, I need to see my timeline so I can see when to stop recording. So, yeah, I was like 25-something. Not that great, but I did run out of disk space on my camera and have to uh, uh, delete some stuff off of that was already on my computer, like the unboxing and stuff. And so, uh, that probably added about a minute, so about 24 minutes, which was terrible. I am hoping to be around 10, 15 minutes after a while of playing with this. But yeah, this is an extremely good cube. Uh, my unboxing didn't really do it too much justice. I mean, it was an okay unboxing, but yeah, I haven't really put too much editing into this. And this is all the more I'm going to edit it. So, yeah, and, uh, because I just don't feel like solves need that much editing, but there's a couple times when I, like, bump the camera and stuff that, you know, it's just more pleasurable to watch for you guys. I mean, you don't have to stop and watch me move my camera around and stuff, and, yeah, and it also did pop a few times, which added a bit of time, so I guess you could say the total, like, solving time is probably around 22, 23 minutes. Because I did have some bad pops. But, you know, I'm just going to go with 25 minutes. That's what I'll say. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty bad time. But, you know. And as an update from my other E3 Cube Store stuff, the Terminator Cube is way worse than I was anticipating. I was anticipating, you know, Dollar Store Cube or something. You know, this is better quality plastic, but it pops a lot and I did lube it with E3Q lube and I also uh, lube my black shing shell 6x6 with that stuff and it works pretty well but you know I don't know I have to I'll make a review at some point of it for them and yeah but I've lubed it with that and it's still not that great you know it pops a lot I took all the stickers off the stickers were absolutely terrible I've never seen the Terminator movie, so I don't, not like the pictures, I don't know, they're, I don't even care. But the stickers were like paper and not very sticky. So they came off okay, but I still gotta get some goo gone or stuff called Basic H. It works like a charm to get sticker residue off. I just remembered that, that's what I use on all my stuff, and it's like healthy, I guess, I don't know. Oh, there I was doing something with my mouse for some reason, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, my screen went down after like 12 minutes or something. And then, uh, or like 10 minutes, and then, yeah. So this entire video, you can just look down below to see how long it is. I think it's something like 7 some minutes. So, yeah, that's decent. Leave a comment below if you want to see the entire solve, which would be like a 25 minute video. And, but luckily I was recording in full 1080p, so it would only take about 25-26 minutes to upload, which is not bad. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment what kind of videos you would like to see this weekend. I got pretty much all weekend to make videos is like my first free weekend ever. I might be having a friend over tomorrow and we would definitely make videos. But they would be in full 1080p and on a different channel, because they would have minor stuff to do with cubing. There might be, like, a cube appearance on them once or twice. But he's not a cuber, so we don't do, like, cubing videos. But, yeah, if there is a cubing-related video you think I could do over the weekend, 
please just let me know. And yeah, I would like to give a big thank you to Billy or me, myself, and Pi, uh, just for making the effort to get together. I know he subscribed to me, which is was my main goal in all of YouTube. I mean, that was to get me, myself, and Pi subscribed to me. You know, I guess it kind of was like cheating or whatever. I don't know. Uh, meeting up with him twice at the competition and then at uh, my cottage. So, yeah, his family is super nice, all of them. Uh, I'm almost out of time here, so I'll just talk briefly about them. Uh, very nice family. They're, yeah, that's pretty much all you can say. Nothing bad at all. But, yeah, so we had a lot of fun that day. There's a lot of stuff I had to edit out. I had like two and a half hours of footage. It took me probably three, four hours to edit it. I only edited it, worked on it like two or three days. I had edited it a little bit, and then I, the day I actually got it out, I was just like, I gotta get this done. And I uploaded it about three times, and I wish I'd been recording in full 1080p, but I wasn't. I just figured out how to switch it back. I figured it out right when I got the camera, and now back. And by the way, the camera I'm recording on is the Canon Vixia HFR20. I got this a while ago, before Crazy Bad Cuber, I'm not trying to copy you, man. Uh, and he wouldn't be trying to copy me, no one go and say that, because uh, I hadn't said what camera I got till just now. And I actually got this the day before the Cuban competition. And I'm sorry that that video hasn't gotten out yet, or the cube that I lit on fire. They're stuck on the internal memory of this camera, and they're, there's a way you can get them on the computer, but it's like, if you wish to continue, press continue, but as a warning, your entire computer may be wiped clean. I'm like, that's not good. So, there's something you do and install and whatnot, but my computer's having enough problems as is, so I will just, uh, yeah, I'll get up whenever I get it up. Now you can see here I'm about done with my solve. So, yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and, um, yeah, I think it's right there, I solved it. Yeah, you can see there, 254314. Thank you for watching. Bye.